Mad Maggie is the newest legend added to the Apex roster, and she rewards aggressive players who enjoy full sending or W keying their opponents. Maggie is sure to impact the meta throughout season 12 and beyond, and her kit provides useful abilities that make her a top tier character for aggressive players looking for an alternative from Octane or Bloodhound. With today's guide, I'm going to cover real game examples and provide several tips to help you master this offensive legend. Now one of the best parts to Mad Maggie's kit is her passive Warlord's Ire. This ability highlights enemies through walls after she's damaged them for 1.5 seconds. Maggie also receives a speed boost when using shotguns which is the same speed as when any legend is running with their weapon holstered. Due to this ability, one tip with Maggie is to have your shotgun equipped even during rotations, since she is the same speed with shotguns as she is with her weapons holstered. This could actually save you if you run into enemies trying to ambush because you'll immediately be able to fight back once that encounter begins. Mad Maggie is a great addition to the game because she's a solid counter pick to a popular ranked and competitive legend, Gibraltar. We will discuss how Maggie can impact Gibraltar's game plan later with her tactical, but due to her speed boost passive with shotguns, Maggie is the best legend in the game to utilize a shotgun. She's exceptional at Gibraltar bubble fights and peeking with shotguns, making her a solid pick if you're going to be encountering Gibraltar's in ranked or even if you have your own Gibraltar on the squad because she's going to be able to punish enemies caught inside the bubble. The wall hack allows her to anticipate when her enemy is going to take another peek. When you're utilizing Maggie, always try and utilize a shotgun in your loadout. Typically an SMG, assault rifle, or wingman paired with a shotgun is a great loadout for Maggie. Your goal with her should always be to get in close range for massive damage and then finish off your kills with your speed and your shotgun. Diving deeper into Maggie's passive, damaging enemies does highlight them for 1.5 seconds, giving you a brief opportunity to strategize how to approach them next when they reposition behind cover. This scan can greatly impact your gunfights. For instance, if you damage a Bangalore as they proceed to utilize their smoke, Maggie can still track them in the smoke and see which direction they decide to run while they're highlighted. Furthermore, her tactical riot drill works so well with her passive ability. Once you highlight an enemy, you're able to differentiate where that legend is playing cover and where they're attempting to heal. Since they're revealed with your passive, you're able to easily line up the riot drill in order to force them to move from their position as you push aggressively. Here is a real in-game example. While in Energy Depot, I noticed a lifeline to my right and put shots on her with my R301. The whole purpose of Maggie's kit is to make your enemies move out of favorable positions while you take angles and gain ground on them. Although this column is incredibly thick in front of me and my riot drill isn't really gonna cause much damage, I still fire off my drill in order to make that enemy move while I continue to advance on her position. Due to this one tactical, she's forced to reposition and my teammate on the right is able to get an easy cleanup kill simply due to the riot drill. If there's one thing to take away from Maggie's kit, it's this point right here. All of her abilities in tandem work together to advance on your enemies while you pressure them with the riot drill, while you pressure them with that reveal and highlight knowledge, and speed from the ultimate and even disorientation from the ultimate if they get hit by that wrecking ball. Use the passive for knowledge when you damage them, Fire a well-placed riot drill and continue to advance while your enemies move out of that favorable position and get close with shotguns for easy squad kills. Hey guys, thanks again for watching and I hope you're enjoying the video. We still have plenty of Mad Maggie tips. I just wanted to let you know I would greatly appreciate it if you guys would like this video and consider subscribing to the channel. My channel is all about helping you to improve at the game and to get you on that championship banner. With that being said, let's get right back into this Mad Maggie guy. Now also keep in mind, Maggie's riot drill is a hard counter to defensive legends and anyone using doors or cover to heal. This is the very first ability in the game that's able to breach Gibraltar's bubble. The drill lasts about 7 seconds and does 4 damage per tick, up to 160 total damage. 
This makes it an excellent denial tool when you want to deny your enemy certain cover and positions. The right drill cooldown is also only 22 seconds as well. The drill can penetrate 13 meters deep while the flame itself extends up to additional 7 meters. The depth of the wall itself will be displayed on the screen while you're holding that tactical button. The right drill can also be used to break doors and just keep in mind that the door will break down faster if the flame is reaching the door and it'll break slower if the actual right drill is attached to the door. Utilize that drill to make your enemies move from healing and reviving positions, but also use the drill to shoot through those Gibraltar bubbles, rampart walls, caustic barrels, or any structure you can find. Now lastly, Maggie's ultimate, the wrecking ball, she throws this giant ball in front of her for a long distance, and the ball bounces around on walls, floors, and other enemies until eventually exploding. Now this travels 90 to 100 meters typically, and it deals a maximum of 20 damage and launches players away. The ultimate distance for pushing enemies is based on how many bounces the ball completes. So if you're looking to travel further, look up at about a 45 degree angle to throw the ball. If you're utilizing a Revenant and Octane with Maggie, you can even place down your Rev Totem, enter the shadow form, throw down an octane pad, and then throw Maggie's ball off of the jump pad. This will allow you to take a massive distance with the pad and have a speed boost at the end of the octane pad as well. Now, if an enemy gets hit by the ball, they do take 20 damage and they get slowed and concussed. So there are many instances, even close range, where you can hurl the ball at an enemy to tip the fight in your favor. Using this thing like a close ranged concussion grenade in certain fights is actually extremely useful. At this instance, I have very little cover, so my last resort is to throw the wrecking ball and we proceed to team shot this octane who slowed after being hit by my ultimate. Now the speed boost and that concussive effect ends up working to our favor and we end up clutching this fight. Now the ball does leave behind a trail of blue circles and once stepped on that gives the player a 30% speed boost. Try your best to utilize these speed increasing balls to the best of your ability by closing the gap on players and getting out your shotgun. Also, you can utilize other speed techs like super glides, wall bounces, slide jumps while under the speed boost from this ultimate to have even crazier movement when you push the enemy. These pods remain on the map until her ultimate has charged to 73% or about 65 seconds and they don't go away on use. The speed boost effect doesn't stack with other abilities such as Octane's tactical or Bloodhound's ultimate ability and also your enemies can interact and use these as well. Now the Wrecking Ball has a low cooldown of 90 seconds, which means you need to utilize this as much as possible. Honestly, let it rip. If you run into an encounter, don't hold it back. Use this thing with each opportunity you get, and you can use it to look for openings, gain ground, pushing to the zone, or just clearing distance quickly. Now Mad Maggie works incredibly well with scanning legends like Bloodhound or Seer as it allows her to see where enemies are hiding behind cover and promptly hit them with a riot drill. When you couple this with her own ability to briefly scan enemies that she damages, this makes it fairly easy to keep up with your opponent's movement. Mad Maggie also works very well with Bangalore. It can be hard to play Bangalore effectively as your smoke can disrupt your teammates abilities to see. It's actually less of a problem with Maggie because she's able to shoot and reveal them through the smoke and track them and damage them pretty significantly. A Bangalore and a Mad Maggie combo could be a great little duo combo if you do want to try that out in duos. All in all, Maggie is an extremely fun and aggressive legend to play in Apex Legends. Make sure you guys are utilizing shotguns in your highly aggressive loadout that's paired with maybe an assault rifle, SMG, or wingman. Always maintain pressure with Maggie and continually bombard the enemy's position while you gain ground to get into shotgun range. Don't hold your ultimate ability back every 90 seconds it means you might even have it every single fight. Make sure you use the ultimate ability at close range or mid range or even long range to clear ground. If you're at close range, it's gonna be like a concussive grenade and it's gonna give you a speed advantage over your enemies. Lastly, you wanna have a play style that has her in the front lines to help give your teammates speed and to help give them an opening. Just keep in mind, Maggie doesn't have a top tier escape like a Wraith or a Pathfinder, so you do need to be aware of that. Your teammates do not see her highlights or her scans, but due to her passive, she can be a very good team leader and communicate to her team the positioning and movement of enemies and certain legends. 
Maggie is a tremendous addition to the Apex games, and I want to see each and every one of you guys tearing it up out there. Thanks everyone for watching and consider subscribing because I'm going to have a ton of content for Apex Season 12 and you guys won't want to miss out. I'll catch you all next time in my next video. I'm Grizzly and I'm out. Peace.